What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to hotwire a car. So you can do this with a, just a screwdriver or whatever. Um, I'm not saying you should do this on anybody else's car. This is strolly for like, say you'll lose your keys at the beach or something like that. Um, and you need to get home. Now on older cars, it might have um, no locking steering wheel, which is what you want. And um, you can do it other ways than this, but uh, starter solenoid, easiest way. Touch those two terminals together, there you go. Car's going. Um, now, you've seen all these videos on YouTube that are like 14 minutes long. And how you, like, you, can like, you can like rip out the thing under there and start your car. Well, that's just retarded. Like, you can just like, someone tried to do this on this car actually, but didn't know how to, they just seen like the movies, you know. They ripped the cable out and they fucked my thing up. But, um, this car isn't stolen, it's mine. I have the paperwork for it. But, um, yeah, you just touch those two terminals together and there you go. Um, make sure you have a screwdriver with a plastic handle so you don't kill yourself. And, um, yeah, you basically are just uh, arcing it between those two. You've seen where I've done it before the video started just so I can make sure I could do it. And, um, you need a solid connection. It's not going to do too well if you don't. Um, this car is not going to start for me right now. I didn't pour gas in there. But, um, take a look at this. There you go. Now it's not going to start for me, obviously. Um, again, I need to pour gas in there. There's something wrong with that. Um, but yeah, if I had gas in there, you could start up a car like that. Simplest way by far. Don't watch those stupid ass videos on the internet. Basically every other video. Now let's see if this car actually has a locking steering wheel. I haven't actually tested that. Nope. So, I could have stolen my car right there if I really wanted to. Um, I don't want to though because you saw those sparks flying out here and um, the fact that I have to dump gas in there and with all those sparks flying, I don't want to risk anything. So, stay smart. Use a plastic handle so you don't, because look at that. That's There's some serious voltage going through that. You don't want to be there. So, Again, just find your star starter solenoid. You know, it's right there. This is a starter relay because it's a Ford. Um, you can't do this on a GM because it's down there. But um, you could, supposedly, on a GM car, you'd have to rip the thing out to get to it. Because um, GM just ran a straight line down to your starter. Basically fucking yourself if, you know, either the relay or the... Um, thing goes bad the starter goes bad you have to get down there to test it and uh, Ford decided to just mount it right here so you can test it super easy way better um, but yeah if you're in a GM you can actually do it with the um, um, ignition switch um, you touch um, positive to whatever the other one is I forget which one at the moment but yeah super simple this is a five minute video max I'll show you one more time this works See, just like that, you're going to have this all over your, um, uh, camera won't focus now, but this you'll have this all over your, um, uh, screwdriver, so you're basically going to be ruining a screwdriver, but, hey, if you want to steal a car, no, just kidding, don't steal a car, don't, do not steal cars if you're watching my video, because most likely if you're stealing a car out there, it's going to have a locking steering wheel, you're going to be fucked the second you try to pull away, so, um, don't steal a car unless it's super old. Actually, don't steal a car at all. But, um, yeah, if you're trapped, um, like, um, on the T-Bird that's in there, the uh, ignition switch, the key, uh, got wore down so much that it wouldn't come back out of the ignition switch. And we could not turn it either. Either So, um, if you're stuck somewhere like that, or, say, um, somewhere like your ignition switch goes bad, or you lose your keys, this is always a backup. <laughs> And also be aware where you're going to be sticking this because you're sparking. Like you can see how much, you know, sparks you're going to be flying. So be aware. If you have a carbureted vehicle, you know, be careful of that. Because you're throwing sparks all over the place. You're going to 
mess something up. So, yeah, that's how to hotwire a car the super simple way. Like, super simple. Like, all cars have a starter solenoid or relay. Like, I have all Fords, so they're all super accessible. You know, with this one, you just, like, right there. With this one, it's pretty much what you're doing is you're bypassing where the ignition switch would come in. And basically, when you turn this, the ignition switch, electricity flows down through here and from the battery, sucks the um, starter thing down, basically connecting these two, what you're just doing with the screwdriver instead. So you're just going to be connecting these two instead of having this go down and make the uh, connecting. You're just completing a circuit, basically. And then when your car is going, it'll be running. <laughs> Of course, I can't get my car going, but you're gonna, your car's going to be running, then you just drive away. Then when you're done, just unplug your battery. But, um, yeah, super simple. Here's a better representation of a solenoid right here, or because it's a forward, it's a relay. But, um, he's going to be sitting like that in the car. You're going to take your screwdriver, touch these two together right here. Like, basically, you're just con completing the circuit, car is going. And there you go. Super, super, super simple. Like, all the videos I've seen are pretty much people who've seen movies or are doing, like, the way harder way of ripping out the dash and stuff. But right there is how you should really be doing it. It's a lot safer, relatively, and a whole lot simpler. Like, uh, on those videos, I mean, it's just like, okay, so here's how you destroy the interior of your car. And, um, basically, or, uh, make your screwdriver basically fuck your, uh, key, um, ignition switch. So you're gonna need a new ignition switch if you're, you know, being a legal boy out there. But, yeah, super simple. Just connect the relays. Easy, easy, easy. You probably clicked off the video by now, but, um, please like, subscribe. This is, I, like, I'm stunned at how many people don't do it this way. It's so, so much simpler. Uh, but, yeah, here... Last little close up. You might also need to get a new uh, relay because you're going to fuck that pretty good. But um, uh, just, yeah, just touch, touch with a screwdriver. There you go. Your car is running. So, yep. Now, please like, subscribe if you like this video. And um, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.